Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be trying the brand new Huda Beauty Gold Obsessions Mini Palette. I'll be showing you guys how I created this look right here. I'll be talking a little bit more about the palette itself as well. Before you do watch this video, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you follow me on my Instagram. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Now, let's get straight into it. A little bit different today. As you can see, I've done my full face makeup. Now usually that never happens. Usually I do my eyes and then I go away and do my face and then come back. I don't know why I was so, like today I was like, right, I'm going to do my face first. Don't know why, just wanted to do my face. I'm going to do my face first and then I'm going to do my eyes. I don't know why because I feel like I'm going to mess this up and I'm going to have, and, and I'm going to have eyeshadow all the way down my face, but we'll see. I, I never do it this way, ever. I don't know why. I'm always like, I'd rather do my face last because if I get it on my face and I can just wipe it off, blah, blah, blah. But I thought, let's try something different. And I just really, really, really felt like doing my face first. Again, I don't know why, but I did. Anyway, we... Oh my God, the packaging. We're going to go in with the brand new Huda Beauty Gold... I don't know if it's just the gold edition or is it the gold obsessions? Gold obsessions, I knew it. Because all her palettes that are this side, this side? Oh my gosh. All her palettes that are this size are called obsessions. So this one is the gold obsessions. I just love this packaging. Like, oh my god, I absolutely love this packaging. These are what we're looking at inside the palette. Let's get it in focus. Look at those shimmers. The mattes, I feel like the only matte catching my eye because the only matte that's really going to work for my skin tone is this brown. Whereas these shimmers, this, this, the middle, this, I am obsessed with these shimmers. I feel like these are the kind of shimmers that I would use all the time. So I'm excited to try and test. I am going to go in with a slightly pink, pinkish shade, pinkish, uh, pinkish shade here first because I don't want to go straight in with the brown and just feel like that's just, I don't know, I'm just on it. So let's go in with this pink just to, just to start with. I don't know if you guys can tell but I actually got my lashes and my brows done like a few days ago. I got an LVL lash lift and I am absolutely loving it. I've had it done before but I got it done like a year ago and I just never like bothered to get it done again even though I really wanted to. I just, I don't know, I just didn't bother but I thought treat myself, get it done. I got my brows in too, my fluffy brows, loving it. I hate, I don't know if you guys noticed but do you know what, while I'm talking I'm thinking this, but I'm not actually saying it out loud to you guys. This shade is coming out so much nicer than I actually thought. Like, in the palette there, it looks really light. Why do I keep doing that? In the palette here, it looks so, so light. But it's coming out so, so nice on my skin tone. Like, I, I didn't think that you would actually be able to see that on my skin tone. But look how nice it's coming out. It's such a nice pink, like, peach. I love it. Um, What was I saying? Yes, yeah, so, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I I feel like I've always had my eyebrows quite thick. I, I, I just hate thin eyebrows, like, I just can't do it. When I was younger, I literally used to pluck, 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 and it used to keep going so far back, and my friends would be like, Rianne, you need to stop plucking your eyebrows so much, you're going to have no eyebrows left. So eventually I listened and stopped and thankfully they didn't completely disappear because I don't even know what it was. Like I just saw one hair and was like, oh, there's another hair. Oh, another hair. And then eventually like it was to the point where my friends were like, girl, can you please stop? You are going to be eyebrow bald and you do not want that. So I am so glad I listened because I just love thick brows, like I can't, I can't deal with thin brows. I don't think, 
if I had thin brows, it would be something that I'd have to draw on constantly. Like, the floppy brows that I got done, I haven't even went in with any eyebrow pencil. This is literally just my brows. Um, so, yeah. I'm loving it. Now, we're going to go in with this brown shade. And I'm just going to go just under, slightly underneath the pink. Okay. I actually wasn't ready for that pigment there. I literally dabbed twice because I was like, okay, it's a really dark shade. Let's just go lightly to start with. And I wasn't quite ready for it to be that pigmented. I am loving this shade. This is such a nice brown shade. Considering I done my face first, there's no fallout so far. That's one thing I'm always scared of, like, oh my god, there's going to be so much fallout and it's going to look horrible and I'm going to have to take my full face makeup off and do it all again, but there is no fallout. Might be different when it's a shimmers, but so far, so good. Okay, I've just done both sides. Now, I keep looking at this and thinking, I don't know what shimmer to go with. I feel like this one is too yellow. Not too yellow, it's very golden and I don't want to use that today. I feel like this one is beautiful. But I'm kind of leaning more towards these two today or even this one. Like I love this rose gold. This rose gold is so beautiful. Do you know what I've just realised? This rose gold also has gold speckles in it. Guys. Look at that rose gold. There's literally gold speckles in it. It looks so beautiful. I've just convinced myself I want to use that one. I just hope there's no fallout. So it's on my brush. Although I feel like it hasn't picked up that much, so... Okay. That is beautiful. Subtle, but beautiful. Oh, maybe not so subtle. But it looks very faint on camera. I am going to use my finger. Oh my gosh. Look how it looks on my finger. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, look guys. Look how much prettier that looks. Like by putting it on my finger. I don't know what it is. Recently when I put pigments on or like shimmers or whatever, I feel like it just doesn't pick up well on a brush and I don't know why, but maybe it's because I'm not wetting the brush, that could be it, but I just prefer putting it on with my finger, like look, look at that pigment. It looks so beautiful, I love it. It just looks so pretty, look. It literally feels so creamy as well, like when I'm putting it on my finger here, it feels so creamy. Look how pretty it is, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, like, from looking at it here, but up close, it, it's such a beautiful rose gold, but within it, I can literally see little dots of gold pigment, and it literally looks beautiful. I am loving the shade. I am absolutely loving it. Look. I am just going to buff out my lower lash line with the brown shade I use on top. I'm now just going to go in with the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara, my go-to. I literally use this every day. Okay guys, so I've just done my mascara. I've just gone in with the Huda Beauty Spice Girl Liquid Matte. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of this Silk Balm on top. I'm loving a little bit of a glossy lip, so... I also went in with the Anastasia and Amrezi highlighter, one of my faves. So we use this shade on our lid. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of this, just in the corner. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's a bit more of a golden shade. I'm loving it. Do you know what? Let's take a little bit of this as well. Mm. 
It looks so pretty. So full look is complete. The Gold Obsessions palette by Hira Beauty. Now as you saw in the palette, there is only three mattes, which at first I wasn't quite sure about because I thought this pink is just going to not not work for me and the only one that is going to work for me is this brown but the pink and the brown actually worked really well for me i don't think this light pink one would show up on me at all um but these two i absolutely loved it's super pigmented they blended out so nicely absolutely loved it the shimmers i went in with was this one for my lid and i just dabbed into these two for my inner corners again super pigmented absolutely loved it. Overall I'm super impressed with the Gold Obsessions palette. The packaging in itself is just an obsession. Like I just I don't know what it is. It's just so pretty to look at. I love it. Let me know what you guys thought of the palette yourselves. If you have tried it out then let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of the look that I created here today as well. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.